All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to JWB's Property of the Week. My name is Greg Cohen, and if you're interested in learning how to invest in rental properties, if you're interested in the Jacksonville, Florida real estate market, if you're already investing in rental properties, maybe you're a JWB client, you have made it to the right place. Here's the Property of the Week, where I break down uh, an investment property that I think would be a great addition to your portfolio. So if you're looking to add properties to your portfolio, obviously this is one to take a look at. And if you're just in the process of learning how to invest in real estate or learning more about the Jacksonville market, you are in a great spot. We're gonna break down a, a, an investment property that I believe in for you. And uh, we're gonna break it down so you understand how to go through an analysis. And uh, when the time is right, you'll be in a position of confidence and strength to know that you're making the right decision. So thank you everybody for joining here. Um, if you are joining live here, I've got my phone here and I'm paying attention to the comments here. So I appreciate all of you for uh, the comments here and for taking some time to join. And uh, if you're watching this on replay, go ahead and fire any comments that you have in and I'll jump in there and I'll make sure I get your questions answered. And if you'd like to be the first to know about the property of the week, this actually isn't the first time that I revealed the JWB property of the week. I do it on our Thursday edition of the Not Your Average Investor show. We do that every Thursday at 1230 Eastern. And I would love for you to join us live. We have 50, 75 investors that join us live. And uh, it's a great learning opportunity to get to fire questions in and learn from the group, not just from me. And uh, so certainly would encourage you to be there if you want to be the first to know. And uh, you can go there uh, and register at jwbshow.com. jwbshow.com will get you registered for the Not Your Average Investor Show. And without further ado, we are going to jump right into today's property of the week. And let me go ahead and get the screen share fired up here. And today we're going to be looking at... 7047 Red Robin Drive. And thank you everybody who's joining live now. I appreciate you guys being here. If you have any questions, go ahead and fire those in. Uh, we're looking at 7047 Red Robin Drive, Jacksonville, Florida, 32210. Um, and the first thing I always want you to look at when evaluating a rental property is not the picture, is not the price, is not all the other important information there. It's your estimated return on investment and your estimated monthly cash flow. One of the reasons I love this property for you is that it has an estimated monthly cash flow of $235 a month. What that means is on a normal month, when you take the rental income in and you minus the normal expenses that happen every single month, you're going to wind up with an asset that's paying for itself to the tune of about $235 a month. Well, that's great. Now, in addition to that, we also need to look at the return on investment. And when you look at the return on investment, that's where you start to take into account the purchase price, the rental income, the taxes, the insurance, if there's HOA dues, management fees, you take into account maintenance costs and vacancy costs, you take into account tenant placement fees, and you take into account your initial investment, including your closing costs, all of these things get taken into account, as well as some other profit centers that you might not be thinking of, like tax savings and principal pay down, you take all that together, and, uh, and you're looking at over a 10% return on investment. And that's really high, guys. Um, I've got to tell you that the state of the market now, especially across the landscape of turnkey investment properties across the country, you're seeing prices going up. And when prices go up, cash flows get compressed. That means in the future, your cash flows will be smaller and your returns on investment will be lower from the cash flow, this 10% number will go down in the future. It's important for everybody to realize that. Um, we are in a really great time right now to be adding properties to your portfolio because a lot of the reason that we can get to 10% right now is because the debt is so inexpensive. Your interest rates when you're borrowing are so low right now that it allows us to get to 10%. And it's not always gonna be that way. So keep that in mind, 10% is incredible. And that's one of the reasons that I absolutely love this rental property for you. Um, as you can see here from the picture, this is a renovated home um, and renovated homes somewhere typically are somewhere around 150 to 180,000. And this home on Red Robin is 165,000. So right there, uh, priced like a normal renovation here in the Jacksonville market, five beds, two baths, um, rent range between 1175 and 1225. 
and uh, the rent is uh, $1,200 a month. We're gonna talk more about this in just a second. Property taxes on the low side. When you're investing in renovations, you're gonna find that your property taxes are generally lower. And that's because your purchase prices are generally lower if you're investing in renovated homes versus new construction homes. So only about $2,200 a year in property taxes. Insurance is 875. Now, one of the benefits of new construction is actually lower insurance costs. Renovations, they don't have lower insurance costs because the homes were not built just this year or last year and building codes have improved over time. So renovation properties have slightly higher insurance costs. Um, so 875 on insurance is what it would be for the house on Red Robin. All in all, still a pretty low insurance rate, but you know that's why I love both renovations and new construction homes. Some have positives uh, in terms of lower property taxes and lower purchase prices like renovations do, whereas new construction has other positive positives. They have lower property insurance costs and slightly lower, lower maintenance costs. Um, and then your management fees are just 10% of the rents collected House is built in 1961, about 1,500 square feet, and it's on city sewer. Um, homes in this area, all of them, almost without exception, are built in the 50s and 60s. So very, very normal for this property on Red Robin. So I'm going to stop. Uh, well, you know what? Actually, let me show you where this house is. It is on the west side of Jacksonville in an area that we love here in Jacksonville. So I'm taking you to the map here on Jacksonville. And uh, well, let me back up a little bit there. All right. So what you're seeing here is uh, our map of Jacksonville. This is the Atlantic Ocean. This is the St. Johns River. This is downtown Jacksonville right here. And these blue markers are JWB's footprint in Jacksonville. We've been here since 2006 investing our own money, as well as helping clients invest their money in the Jacksonville, Florida real estate market. And this is where we put you. We put you in these four neighborhoods because they're the best cash flow sweet spots that are going to grow at an above average home price appreciation rate. So we have uh, sold over 2000 properties and you can see all of those properties here. So this is called the West side of Jacksonville and all of these individual markers are properties that we've sold that we continue to manage for clients. This is called the North side of Jacksonville. You can see all these markers here. This is the South side of Jacksonville. And this is called Arlington. And as we zoom in here, I mean, it gets even more densely populated with these markers as we zoom in. This one here on Red Robin is right here on the west side of Jacksonville in an area that we absolutely love, okay? If you ever have a question about how we know exactly what the rent rates are going to be, it's because we have so much experience doing the same thing over and over and over again. You can see that replicated here. Right. For the client who purchases this home at 7047 Red Robin, we managed, what is that, four houses just on the same street right here. Right? We probably managed, what is that, about 50 houses in a square, in, in a radius of a mile here. And we know exactly what these homes are renting for. So it's really important if you're investing in rental properties to work with somebody that has significant experience and has been doing it over and over and over again. And that's why I kind of worry about some of these turnkey companies that are going out in search of inventory and going out to markets that they've never done business with before. And they're doing it really, really quickly. Um, if you ask them for a map of how long they've served those clients in those neighborhoods and do they have all of these rental comps, they're not going to be able to produce what I just produced for you. And at the end of the day, it creates more risk for investors. Um, and there are some companies that can pull it off. There are some that are trying that are going to fail miserably. And so make sure that if you're just, you're investing with a turnkey rental property provider that you know that they have the experience, they've been doing it themselves, they put their own money on the line because that's just going to benefit you. Let me tell you one more reason why I absolutely love this property on Red Robin for you. This property comes with the fact that it's already rented with a resident who has signed up for a long-term lease. And in addition, it's cash flow positive from day one, like I mentioned. So from the very moment that you close on this property, you're going to be receiving positive cash flow. That's really hard to find in the space right now because so many turnkey rental property companies just don't have inventory. And if they do have inventory, they sell you the house and they expect you to wait while it's being renovated or wait while it's being built, which means that your money's tied up, but you're not receiving cash flow. 
from day one. So I love this one because it's already rented and producing positive cash flow for you. But there's another reason. This house comes with a $2,400 rent credit for the buyer. This is paid by JWB. You may be asking yourself, why would JWB do that? And I wanted to walk you through this. So JWB actually acquired this home with the resident in it. And at that time, the market rent on that home is $1,200, but that resident was not paying $1,200. At this moment, this resident is actually paying $1,100. And when we have the chance to acquire a property and there's a great resident in that home who meets our standard, then what we do is we look to find the best solution for all involved. And the best solution for all involved is to do what's called this rent credit. So with this resident, they're paying $1,100. They're paying below market rent. Over time, we're going to work with that resident to get them up to market rent, but we're not just going to go in day one and say, hey, your rent was $1,100. Guess what? Tomorrow it's $1,200. That wouldn't be treating the resident the right way. But what we can do is we can keep that resident there at $1,100. We can prepare them over time. It's going to go up. And then we can work to sell this home to a great, to a client who wants a great cash flowing asset today. The home is priced assuming that there's $1,200 in rent coming to you. So what JWB does is we make up the difference and we do it for a full two years. So the client who purchases this home is going to get a $2,400 rent credit day one when they close, which is gonna do a lot to jack up your return on investment and to mitigate any risks in terms of maintenance and vacancy costs over the next two years. And guess what? Over time, that residence rate will increase to market rent. And there's a really good chance that we're gonna be able to renew this resident because JWB in the year 2020 re-signed residents at a rate of 71%. That means that 71% of leases that came up for renewal chose to renew with JWB. So the client who purchases this home is in a great spot. If it's something that you're interested in, I would highly encourage you to reach out to your portfolio manager. If you are a JWB client, you know who they are. They're, they're with you every step along the way. So reach out to them and then we'll get you set up to potentially purchase this home. If you're not a client yet, you should become one. Uh, you should uh, set up a time to speak with my team. You can do that at chatwithjwb.com, chatwithjwb.com. You can set up a time right there. Just get on my, my team's calendar and, uh, and you'll be on your way. And I'm always here to answer questions that you may have. Uh, so if you have any questions, feel to drop them in uh, the, the comments. And uh, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend and happy investing. Take care, everybody.